Would right you now. look at this? Would you look at this? Got some sunshine today, baby. If you guys been watching the last few videos, we've had about a week straight of rain, mm -hmm. and the sun just broke out. So we're gonna get some stuff done on the outside today. This is gonna be our electrical closet. See how much of it we can get done in this video. So I'm gonna start the day working on the floor structure for the electrical closet. And Rodrigo and I, we whipped out the blowtorch because we're burning some wood. So this is actually a process called Chose de Ban. We've done this before, we did this on the deck of our bus. And we did this when we were like really desperate. And we were in full lockdown, all the hardware stores are closed, and we just bought all this wood and we're like, what are we gonna do with it? Right. So we just decided to burn it all. So this is like a Japanese wood preservation method. Yeah. And it's been around for thousands of years. It's known to basically put a coating of carbon on the outside. So it expels buzz, it, it bugs, it expels moisture. So the deck's gonna be over there. This is gonna be our electrical closet. So we really want this to be totally sealed on the mm -hmm. bottom, on the sides. So what we're doing now is just marking where the studs are gonna go for the wall. Kaylee's mad at me. Why? Is it there? Cause I was just giving her a hard time while she was using the measuring tape. You know, she's all mad at me. Kaylee, your turn. What do you have to say about that? Well, you know what? What? If you wanna find another woman who does all the things that I do, <laughs> you go right ahead. I'm feeling sassy today. I'm feeling sassy today. Oh. <laughs> My sassy side is coming out. This is actually really, really challenging because we have two different angles going on. We slanted this platform down slightly so all the water runs off and doesn't run in through our garage. And that's also slanted. So it's a little tricky trying to find the points where the beams are going to go. So we have to use this as a level to get everything super straight. Um, what are you at right now? Oh. Okay, I know it's close then because we have nine. 28 and a half. Oh, on both sides oh. of the line? Just as long as it's a twitch. I was down by the creek the other night. Catching some <laughs> Catching some fish. You know how I do, I catch those fish for us, you know, for dinner. And uh, I caught me a big old bass. Wait a second. That's not how you say A big old bass. <laughs> so we're gonna put a door for the electrical closet on the outside. Oh, is that right? Kaylee, you know, sometimes we have to take things seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the door that you want to install over here, right? Well, I'm going to paint it red. No, you're not. <laughs> Ready, Mark. Set, go! Kids, do not try this at home. <laughs>
look at this right now, you guys. This is what it's all about right here. This is the reason that we moved up here. Why well, we want to live here, why well, we want to move to Panama. There's this view right here. And we probably only get it, what What would you say, 50% maybe? N not even, not, not even. even. Maybe like 35% of the time. Yeah, and when we, but when we get it, man, we take full advantage of it. Because sometimes, a lot of times it's rain, been, it rains. It's been raining for like the last week. And we even had, a, uh, we're being able to see the sunset in a couple weeks. It's been a couple weeks since we've seen the sunset. So we're taking this all in right now. You hear that call, Kaylee? That's the... I'm laying eggs! I'm laying eggies over here! <laughs> we hope. Every day we come and look, see if they've laid any eggs. Chickies! <gasps> no, you already knew! <laughs> you already knew! There's eggies in there! You already Look at this one right here! You already knew! <laughs> you put that there! I you put, put that there! I didn't put it there! You put it there! I didn't! No way! I promise! Rodrigo smiled it for me, he told me we had eggs. Is it just one or is there more than oh one? Oh my god. Lola? Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> so this one's for me. <laughs> oh. oh! 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 How's it look? A little dirty. I'm surprised. Like, I thought they would want to like be with the egg. You know what I mean? They just lay the egg and they're like, peace. <laughs> so can we can we eat this one? Can we eat it right away? Do, we, do you want them to have to like clean out their system first? Hold on. You can do it. We can eat it right now, right? Nice. Let's go. <laughs> this is the first eggie. We're gonna go cook it. <laughs> <laughs> I want some, I want and it. I'm gonna give you a little bite, <laughs> but we're all gonna split it, okay? It's not out for you, Lola. <laughs> Kaylee's washing the egg with soap. It's got poop on it. Yeah, honey, you just rinse off with water. Yeah, well, water's not gonna get poop off. Do you, do you, do you not put soap it's when you wash your body? It's like a bidet, honey. It's, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Can you show the people what you know how to do? You know how to shake. Yeah. You know how to touch me day on my foot. And shake at the same time. <laughs> yep, that was good. Okay, bye. <laughs> that was from Dodo. You remember when Dodo was a little baby and he was right there? This is like the craziest thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> I know I am, I am. Okay. <laughs> this is literally the craziest thing. Because we're allowing them to just totally free range all around our land. Someone said they're probably laying eggs. Hola, amigo. They're probably laying le eggs all over your land. <laughs> so the chicken's over here making this crazy noise. And Jordan went over there to go see if, oh, maybe, maybe she's laying an egg. And little... Little does he know. Look, look in there. Look in there with the chicken. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> no Dude. way! <laughs> so cool. Yo, there's like eight eggs in here. And you can see there's a fresh one. Look at all those. Look at all those eggs. So one of the downsides that we're learning about laying our free range, our chickens free range all the time is they're each kind of creating their own little nesting box. Even though we built right. one for them in their chicken coop, they're, they're out and about, you know? So yeah. after, after 6 a.m. they're out. And they're, they'll, they're like all over our land, like yeah. totally spread out. So it's like the second they find a little spot that they're like, hey, this is kind of <laughs> nice. It's in nature, you know? It's like that's naturally what they're supposed to be doing. Dude, that is crazy. So we have probably like another 30 or 40 eggs just around here somewhere. Dude. Let's have an Easter egg hunt. Yo, you guys want to have an egg hunt? <laughs> Let's see how many people can find the most eggs. The other day I found one of the chickies over here, so I have a feeling that somewhere, this is on our lands over there, I have a feeling there's gonna be some eggs over here. Cause I was like, why is the chicken over there in the brush? Oh, Kaylee! No. I'm winning, I'm winning the egg hunt. Oh, look at all those. 
<laughs> Dude, this is the coolest thing that I have ever experienced in my entire life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We, so that's two. That's two chickens nesting boxes that we found. Oh my god! We need we to find, find two more. Two. Yeah. Seven eggs. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Are you gonna let one in? Oh, that what we should do? Yeah. Okay. Keep one in. Keep at least one. Okay. What do you think, honey? Dude, it's unreal. All of a sudden, we have a dozen eggs. More, more than, than a dozen. That. There was a ton over there, huh? Yeah, there was probably like nine. Wow. Yeah. So we found two. I think we're gonna call it there. We've been looking for like a half hour. And what we're gonna do is when we let them out tomorrow, we're yeah, just gonna okay. see, watch where they go. Follow them around. And I think it's when they're making that noise, that yeah. funny noise. Yeah. That's when they're about to lay or like laying or something. I guess the question is, should we just let them keep laying in these spots? We could. Or should we try to force them to do it in the chicken coop? So, so we got like, two spots. Let's just find the other two and then we'll just... As long as we know where the spots are, I'm totally fine. I think that's like a more beautiful way of allowing them to just free range, go where they want to go, be in a safe space, have their own privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. lay their eggs. And lay their eggs. And then it feeds us. And it feeds us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think this is fair to say this is going to be, go down as one of our favorite mornings up on the farm. Oh god, yeah. It was like the perfect weather, super fresh air. And all of a sudden we have 15 eggs. All of a sudden we got some And there's 15 eggs. more to find. We only found yeah. two. Yeah. But we got to stop hunting. It's time to get to work. <sighs> what are you telling you, everybody what happened to you, Rodrigo? I gotta suck here, okay? Why? Don't love me, okay? Why? Because I was trying to, to pass between these things and I got stuck. And what? I'm a fat boy, okay? What? So Rodrigo grinded all of the welds down to get them super nice and flush and flat. Now I'm just going ahead and painting this whole electrical closet structure and then it's gonna be time to put the siding up. Well, I just got back from a quick early morning run to the hardware store. So I had to go about two miles an hour bringing all this stuff up. I, I can't believe I made it. And, and it's crazy how much better it already looks with just this last finishing piece on. I need you to confess a little something, something to the people on here. Yeah, I see faces everywhere. <laughs> I don't see that people, but I see faces everywhere. You want to show me the face that you're seeing right now? Yeah, uh, the ostrich. I see more of a praying mantis, I think. <laughs> no, but if you come here and look from here to there, you will see the long neck, the peak, and the eyes. Well, this is the moment, you guys. We've been working on this. We've been putting the studs in. We've been painting. We've been sealing everything up, making sure everything's ready for the roof and the walls. And this is the moment when you actually start to see things come together because you get these ideas in your mind of what something will look like. Now we'll find out what it actually looks like. Just gotta give a quick shout out to all you guys who said to get long straight cuts, just clamp a straight edge all the way along the board. Man, that worked so well. So this is the board and this is the batten. So the idea is the batten goes over the seams when two boards are touching. So we're gonna lay the boards all up vertically and then in each seam, 
we're gonna put it back. So everything's already all sealed up, but since we cut a nice fresh cut, we gotta make sure all the sides are nice and sealed. So here goes the first piece. This wood is actually pine, which isn't great for outside. But we gave it a nice burning. We gave it a nice burning, which has Ooh, worked so well for us. Wow. And we coated it in a marine grade sealer. So we put in a sealer that's for boats. Damn, wow. that looks really, really nice. How's the fit up there? It's so good. Yeah, it's perfect. It's like and it looks perfect. really, really nice with like, we have the black here, and then you have the wood texture here, the wood texture here, but this is like a blackish brown. It just looks so, so good. You ready to screw it in? Yeah. You made a boo-boo, huh? We gotta stop. <laughs> That's gonna be it for the day. No. It's only because we have no more welding rods. So, oh. so if you guys see this beam, for whatever reason, we didn't put this one in line. And we're in lockdown right now, so all the stores are closed. We can't leave our land. And we don't have any more welding rods. Because we need to move this beam over a little bit so it's more in line. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was so excited to see how this looks too. I mean, at least we can see what it's going to look like, you know, just putting it up. You kind of get a good idea. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I was, we oh, still had a couple hours, but. Damn, you guys. We were just getting ready to get going. Well, at least you got a little taste of it, but you're going to have to wait till next time to see the whole thing fully put together. I think you got in and then you got a little bit fatter after the lunch that we just ate. <laughs> so now you're stuck. Rodrigo. Come on bro, you gotta you gotta pull it pull your body up. I'm I'm trying. My my nipples are <laughs> suffering right now, okay? They're what they're suffering? Yes. <laughs> Dude. Come on bro. Do you want me to get a little butter? Yeah. We'll butter no. up we'll butter up your nipples bro. <laughs> 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 so first of all don't mind my face. I got ash all over me from burning that wood. But little does Jordan know, the reason why I'm cleaning this whole bo uh, bus, <laughs> the reason why I'm cleaning this whole workshop, getting it nice and tidy, organizing, sweeping the floor, is I'm actually planning on setting up a little surprise date night with him. I've been telling him for the last couple weeks just how nice it'll be once restaurants are back open. We can just go and have ourselves a little date night. But instead of waiting, I'm gonna set up this whole workshop to be a little romantic evening out together. Let's just cut that one and see what comes out. Oh. And then we can open there. Take a tape measure. Even though we can't get done what we we're most excited to get done today, it's not gonna stop us from working. We got some stuff we gotta do up on the loft. We're gonna put the trim in. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, look at it. Nice. nice. Beautiful. Nice. Look at that, you guys. That looks awesome. So this is just a little preview of what's to come. Yeah. This is still raw metal. It's not sanded. It's not painted yet. But it it definitely just like adds that super hot, like industrial. It just industrial. looks significantly better like after that. Yes. That's something about trim is like you put the trim on and it just immediately looks so much better. Yeah. It just pulls everything together. Yeah. Boy, you guys, I was gonna keep this garage door open so we could watch sunset, but it is pouring out and the fog rolled in so you can't see pretty much 100 feet in front of you. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to make it as cozy as I can in here with as, as many lights and as many candles as possible. So I have everything set up. Rodrigo's going up to go get Jord, and he has no idea. It's nothing too crazy, too special. I just got some lights, some candles, some takeout, some wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> You're a good liar, bro. <laughs> This was the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> You're such a little sweetheart. 
I've been craving a date night for a while now, so. We haven't been able to, because we've, we've, we've been in lockdown, but we all know date we night. Created, no we created it, we made it the most magical You did it, or you made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, I think this is where we're gonna say goodnight. We're blowing out the candles. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time.